Luna Classic rejected a key resistance level and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. We just made another 43% this week in terms of trading as well as this whole dip opportunity. Our Telegram channel has absolutely killed it. If you guys are still thinking about joining, make sure to check out the link. Hey guys, Speed Church here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic Analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in free $600 Bitcoin, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as you guys can see on Luna Classic yesterday, we were testing a very crucial resistance point here at the 14 range. And I mentioned, of course, the fact that it's going to be very important from a bullish case scenario to try to break above this level and use it as support before we see a larger continuation. You can see, of course, that moveset was a very nice fake out opportunity. We immediately rejected that level with a very strong bearish engulfing candle. And as of right now, we have broken right back into the range of our support at once again at 11.7. And things are not looking good for Luna overall. I've mentioned this before many times. The over overall take profit level in order for me to be looking for a buy position remains down here at the 86 range and now the issue is of course the fact that you'll notice we are going to look to retest once again on our major support which was of course old resistance becomes new support the fact that we will retest this level once again we could be looking for a much larger breakdown overall you can see that the current range at the 14 was a beautiful liquidity grab immediately after we entered into the overbought territory and and then we saw a stronger continuation to the downside. Of course, from the four hour perspective, we actually ended up taking a beautiful 27% short in our Telegram channel. So congratulations to those of you that also joined that move. And the reason why we entered the short, of course, was because most of these altcoins were heading into extreme overbought conditions while retesting major daily resistance levels. You'll notice even here on the hourly time frame, we had a very nice bar formation being formed with a very clean ladder case upwards and elevator down now the fact that we are retesting the bottom of this bar formation we could be looking for a small pullback into the exponential moving averages grab that resistance and then continue pushing on lower and even here from the daily time frame yesterday i mentioned of course the fact that we will be looking to retest the 14 range because of the fact that not only is this a major resistance but as well as the fact that our 20 exponential moving average is also hovering right at that level you can see that trade played out perfectly we retested that level and once again we are looking for a stronger continuation to the downside with the altcoins getting collapsed because of bitcoin dominance i'm looking at a very extremely bearish move set overall to 86 now assuming that the 86 level does end up holding we could be looking for some short-term buy opportunities overall but assuming we do end up seeing a clean break at 86 and retesting it as resistance that's going to present a once in a lifetime opportunity to be entering that shorting position and of course i will be keeping you guys posted on telegram as we enter those ranges but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are interested in free 600 bitcoin make sure to check out the link in the bio and i hope you guys have a wonderful